Welcome back, ladies and gents. I am waiting on that uh, power cell for the last 6%. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to check what I have in the Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay, that is where that other power cell goes. Lithium. I've, I've decided that I am going to build a storage bin inside the habitat. One quartz and two titanium. One quartz and two titanium. I don't know if I have quartz, but I did see some on the ground. On the seabed. There's a quartz, so I need one more titanium. There we go. I think one will be enough to... Uh... My thought process here is, <clears throat> I don't know what is deeper... But the deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. And maybe I don't want to have the Cyclops stock full of all of my resources in case I lose it. Uh, let's put that back here. Right there. And this is full. So I want to take as the resources off the Cyclops because I don't know what's going to be down there. I'll put you... I'm going to hold you. Meaning the Habitat Builder. And I'll put you in that storage we just created I don't know if I'll need the laser cutter I can't imagine there's wrecks down here that I would need to cut my way into But for now, I'm just going to make room for these resources. All right, we'll have to make another trip. <clears throat> Get this these materials situated. And then we'll go for a deep on the other side here of this cavern I'm in there's a drop off and I honestly don't remember if I've ever gone down there before I don't I don't think I have but I'm not certain you know what this is this is the first time I've noticed that my personal inventory is exactly the same as the storage shelves locker I don't know if I've ever made that connection before that that uh, noticed that Did I get everything out of here? I believe so. Yeah. Take that one and all of this. Okay. That's everything. <clears throat> well, I do realize that if I lose the Cyclops, I've got to... Well, here's the thing. If I lose the Cyclops, I'm probably going to lose the Prawn also, right? Oh, that's... I just filled that up, didn't I? And then... <laughs> okay. Do I have... Yes. All right, we're going to build one more. But I need the Habitat Builder. And I don't remember where I stuck it. One of these...
right here. All right, we'll build one more storage bin. Locker. <clears throat> and I need uh, two titanium. Close enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to leave the build habitat builder here. All right. This is still fully charged. Well, it's nuclear. It's it should be. I don't anticipate it ever going bad, going out. I don't know. You know, for gameplay purposes, they might make it to go out, but. It would last for years in the real world. Flashlight, scanner, repair tool, battery, a little bit of water, and a couple of... I don't... I don't know if I need the sea glide. I'm going to leave it here instead of in my inventory in case I need it. Anything else I actually... I don't know. I'm going to leave the laser cutter here also. Uh, I'm going to take this. We'll see if I need it. In my personal inventory. I've got two of those. <clears throat> Alright. Everything is a go now. One last final check. 99 why is that 99 you know I I'm I just don't like that not being 100 rubs me the wrong way that'll just take one second to hit 100 I'm sure well maybe not exactly one second but a very short amount of time I would imagine There we go, 100. I would hate to get down there and, and be on my way back and have 1% left or needed. And because that was only 99 and not 100, I can't get back. That's just the way I think. All right. We've got a new fire extinguisher there. Everything is good. I guess we're gonna, I'm gonna top off my food and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go. Okay, this needs to be switched. The knife should be number one. Flashlight number two. Scanner number three. Repair tool and stasis wrap. That's okay right there. I guess I. There we go. All right. One, two. No. Oh, use planter. There's nothing in it. Well, what do you know? That there is something in it. it. Just hasn't grown back yet. Okay. <clears throat> Why is that? How come I I cannot pick those marble melons? Something is wrong here. Let me take a gander. Pick water. Okay. Pick marble melon. Okay, use planter. I just planted that. Pick marble melon. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, use. It is planted. Use, it is planted. Use, it is planted. Now I can see the rest of these are, are good. Okay, let's go. See what happens here. <clears throat> There's the drop off right over there. Engine 
powering up. I do want this to be on a slope. slope. Let's get our camera going. And let's see what's on this drop off. Over the edge into the abyss. There's a big hole right there. Also, I got to keep in mind 1300 meters. The reason I'm going down here is to get an upgrade to allow me to go deeper. So I don't want to go below 1300 meters. It's a big hole right there. I don't want to hit the top. Oh, look at the light change. Darker, definitely darker. Yeah, it's it's definitely dark here. Is that lava? What what how deep are we? 1,000. Oh, what was that right in the... Okay. I'm guessing I'm meant to go right because there's no... There's a big hole to the right, nothing to the left. There's a little hole to the left. I'm going to the big hole, though. Clear the. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Deeper. Don't want to go too deep. Yeah, that's that's lava. Magma. little fish bumping into me or whatever they are <clears throat> I don't see any resources other than mushrooms I do remember that kyanite was blue, so I'm just basically looking for something blue. Another little hole we're descending into. There's something right there, resource-wise. And there's a, is that a, yeah, there's a, there's some type of, re I don't know how hot it is right where I'm at, though. I don't know if I can get out. I guess there's. No time to... What is he doing? Down. He looks like a, a leech. <laughs> Let me... I'm going to try. See what happens when I get out. If I fry instantly. <laughs> or this suit protects me. Okay. Am I right? What is this? Copper. What is that noise? All right, what is this right here? Can I get that? Shell? Okay. Shell's a known thing. Welcome up All right, I can swim in that without dying. I, I wasn't sure if I needed to be in the prawn or not. And I'm at 1140. Engine powering up. Let's continue on. 
yep. Very close to the edge there. What are you doing? Is he just stuck? Alright. Don't want to descend too far. What? Something just popped up there. Oh well. I don't know what it was. 11.56. I don't see anything that's blue. I think I'm going to have to go through this hole right here. Or... Wait a minute. Am I looking at the right thing? There's a hole there, and I think a hole there. Alright, there's one right down there, and one to the left. This one goes down, and that one stays the same. I'm at, let's descend a little bit and see if I can make that hole. Pretty close to this. I think I'm gonna have to go left. I'm just about at 1200. Oh, oh, wait, right there. Can I get through there now? I don't know. That seems to continue going down. That goes ever deeper. So I'm... I'm right at 1,200. All right, let's go a little bit. I've got another th 100 meters of leeway here. Let's poke our nose in here and see. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Poke our nose in here and see what's, what's going on down here. Looks like we're going to fit now. 1189, not even 1200. More more shell there's a different noise now different sound effect that I cannot place don't hear it now oh there it is again seems to be coming through my right earphone is that uh, wreckage down there surely that's not wreckage right Alright, just at 1200. There's nothing on the scan. What? Wait a minute. Why are those things. Oh, look at my. Uh... I think they're sucking energy because I haven't moved very far and I'm already down to 84% on power. I think those things are sucking energy. I was noticing that I thought those were two little thrusters on the bottom, but I think those are those. No, don't turn the light on. Um, stop. Powering down. 82. Look at that. 2% and I haven't even moved. Okay. I need to. Can I get them off? Oh no, there's a there's a warper. Oh, I can scan that from in here. Lava larva. A grub-like species which appears to lack sight and smell but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Capable of attaching to smooth surfaces and generating high pressure suction release if it comes under sufficient strain. Thick scales Instead, it powers its internal processes directly from the energy it consumes. Attracted energy source of all kinds draws energy from its prey to survive. 
Avoid when pilots and vehicles remove to conserve battery. Okay, so they are actually vampires, more or less. They're leech. Oh my goodness! I didn't realize there were that many of them. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm just leery about actually going out. I can hear that warper. Let me see if I can see where he's at. How do... Joe, how come you can't get on here? There we go. Woo. A 75? Where's that warper? Right there in front of me. Figures. I wonder... All right, I'm going to try something. I'm going to just see if I can ram him. Engine powering up. Maybe he'll go away. Oh, we moved when I started moving. Where did he go? Turn off. Engine powering down. I think he went way over there. All right. I've got to see if I can knock these guys off with the knife. Yep. But, are they just going to reattach? Oh, that warper. Another one on this side. I haven't hit. Oh my goodness! I think they're just reattaching. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I hear you, Warper. They're just... I think this is not a battle I can win. Alright. Sixty-nine. Look at that. Oh my great goodness. Well, I got rid of them. But... We're at Look, I'm gonna. Engine powering up. I'm gonna move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We zapped them. Might have to do that every now and then. And just a quick zap is not gonna drain as much energy from the battery as they're draining. I've never been this low before in, in, in all the driving around in this thing I've done. This is the lowest it's ever been battery power wise. I still don't see anything blue. I just don't want to get in a hurry and run headlong into something. Okay, we're clean for now. Oh, this is going to be terrible trying to find my... Well, right now I've just been going in a, more or less... A, there's only one way to go back, and that's to turn around and go back in the same direction I came in. But this could be very... All right, now we need to go up a little? Looks like a different. I still don't see anything blue. I need to go up a tad bit. We got plenty of clearance up top. See, they're swimming after me. <clears throat> As it, I, I don't know if it's my imagination or if there's a lot more. The deeper, the further in here I go, the more warpers there seem to be present. A lot of copper, though. That's good to know. 
remember that. Oh, there's something blue right there. Right there. We can descend a little bit because we came up a tad. All right. Stop right here. Turn off the engine. Powering down. 65%. We're not covered in them yet. Oh, there they go. All right, I'm going to... Well, first let me verify what that is. I, it's the only blue thing I've seen, so I'm, I'm guessing that's kyanite. Special equipment required. That is indeed kyanite. So let's drop in the prawn. Welcome aboard, Captain. All Thank you. systems Thank online. You. Oh wow. You know, I wonder I wonder. Let me hit him again. We're down to sixty percent. Rock. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get this kyanite and get out of here. Deep blue heat resistant crystal. Two. Sound like, kind of like a, a volcano or underwater explosion, if you will. There might be a, a thermal vent, right? You know, like the one at where our first escape pod was. They kept erupting, erupting every now and then, making a sound similar to that, like. Uh, Old Faithful. How many does that give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what that noise is, but it's starting to sound less environmental. All right, that's eight. How many do I need? I need three and three. All right, so I only need... Really tell which direction it's coming from either, but I only need six. But while we're here, let's see if there's any more. I just also realized I'm at 1246, I'm right at the 1300 meter. I wasn't paying that much attention when I dropped in the prawn. I, I really, that looks like something I have not seen before, that animal. What is this? That's quartz. Yeah, I'm right at the edge. I gotta be careful. Let me get rid of... No, that's not what I want. This is what I want. I don't want to be able to see those cameras. Camera drones. Because they're obscuring. 
There we go. I wonder if those things attach to... I hope they don't attach to the prawn suit. Alright, I'm not going any deeper. That would be a mistake. Let's jump up here. Maybe that is just the lava, the... I don't see anything else that any more kyanite. It's 51 degrees. I'm stuck on something. Look at that thing. Oh, what happened there? What? See? See? Bite me? Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, they are trying to bite me. I'm at 65%. I just realized. Okay, these things are hostile. See if I can repair it. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Where do you go? They're tough to kill, also, apparently. At least with a drill arm. Get too deep, Joe. Okay, so these are hostile. What is that over there? It looks like a. Well, it looked like a little rocket ship, <laughs> but I think it just was the angle I was looking at it. Like a little toy rocket ship. Let's see if I get a little closer what it looks like. Probably just a crystal outcropping is probably what it is. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going back to the... I've got six. That's enough to build the next. So I, I'm a little leery about going over a little rise here and going too deep. So let's go back and build so I don't have to worry about depth. We're gonna dock, go back up, build that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Back up. There we go. We got Ky Actually, I'm gonna. No, kyanite is good. I'm gonna close that. Oh, we've still got power. Let me get some food. One, two, three, and hit the fourth one. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you. I'm going to do it again after I get these planted. One, two, three. That should get us home. Hit the fourth one. Okay, we've only got a couple. I was gonna go out and hit them, but I'll just I'll zap them and then we'll be on our way. All right, engine. Fifty-two percent. We got enough juice to get us home, providing nothing. All right, I just need to go in that direction. You swing right around. Plenty of room here.
All right, we'll go out. Just follow this channel. <clears throat> now I do have to go back to the main base, top side base for the fabricator. I actually that may not be the case. I, I have to check because there is a. Yeah, I think it is because it has to be that um, special fabricator. I was thinking I could do it on the Cyclops, but I don't think that fabricator will do it. Good news is there's a lot of copper down here if we need copper. And I, th yeah, okay, that was that. That was where I thought I was going to go earlier. All right, so we can fit through here. We'll just descend, go to the right, make sure we're going to clear this. Yep, we're going to clear the top. Right, so that archway and this go to the same area. Just one's a little deeper than the other. All right, gaining deep. All right, uh, left because we came through that big hole there. Oh. Hitting the wall, hitting the wall. Just a little bit. It'll be okay. Up. Plenty of room up. Go through that archway. I hope this is the way we came. I think it is. Because I... It looks like we could go up a lot, but I think we did come... Yeah, we did. I recognize this. We didn't come straight down. So let's continue on straight. Forward. Going up ever so slightly. I think... Okay, there's a... Yeah, this is a big waterfall from where we started. So this is where I need to go out. There is still something in that direction. Might have to explore that when I come back. See what's in that direction. But this is the way out, these big waterfall. All right, this might be a tight fit here. Well, we, we came in so we can get out. There we go. All right. Now we just need to go up that cliff face. Just straight up. Don't hit the tail on the... Yep, I heard that beeping. I see the tails there. Just need to go up and to the right. There's the habitat. Make sure we can clear the bottom. Check my battery stat. I'm going to charge my batteries, the power cells here. We got to be down to 50% at least by now. Take a gander. And also check and see if any of those leeches came, or lava. Lava, larva, I forget what they were called. Engine. 51%. Alright, well, we still have hap. No, there's none here. Alright. Let's check these power cells. Excuse me. And I realize 50% is still half my power, but if I have to use the shield again. On the way out, for whatever reason, I want to have enough power to use it and continue on. Remember, we still got to make our way back through the, the caves. So let's get these charged. Uh, did this charge? 
Yeah, but I need to repair it. Can I repair why it's stopped? No. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. We also want to get the kyanite out of here. I see no reason that I cannot just leave this set in here. Let me check it. It said 100%, didn't it? 100, 100, okay. So we'll leave that set setting there and drive the Cyclops Welcome back. Aboard, Captain. Get these two on the charger. Leave this one here. Replace these batteries. The repair tool. Throw you on the charger. Anything else? Nope. Didn't use anything else. All right. Lithium, titanium, kyanite. Pretty sure. Yeah, nothing here. And I will check. Let's see what it what it takes to build that fabricator though. It's gotta be down here somewhere, right? Modification station. It takes a diamond, a titanium, and lead. I don't think I have a diamond is going to be the problem. I think. No diamond there. One diamond. Okay. Let's look at this again then. What do we need for the computer chip? Table core, gold, and... Well, there's plenty of copper. Take that. Is there enough room to build it? Possibly right, right there. Okay, so I need the diamond. Let's get let's see the. Let's try the computer chip first. Two table coral, one gold and two copper. But I'm going to have to go get copper. I already know that. I believe. One copper, one gold, and two table coral. So I need one more copper. And uh, there was a lot of copper out and about. So let's go jump in the prawn suit and get some... Well, it was down there though, wasn't it? Mm. All that copper was back there. I don't know if the prawn can jump up that high. Let's see what this is. Nickel ore, just straight up nickel. That looked like sandstone to me. Let's jump down here. more nickel yeah and this is sandstone is that what I need no that's gold it's not sandstone it's not sandstone not shell but the other thing this is all sandstone the shell is the darker colored one let me let me see what's down here in this I don't think I went down here yet all right that looks like lithium I'm going to say that's lithium. It is. Just more uraninite. Magnetite. And yeah, uraninite. All right, nothing in here. No uh nothing in here I can use right now. Just 
just got to get some of that copper that we saw down here. And it looks like, as long as I, I, I don't just jump direct, you know, try to go directly up from, I think I can make it. Because it's, it's slowly descending in steps. Now the question is, will those leeches attach to this thing? What is that right there? Okay. I hope not. Oh, that, that's, I don't know. Let, let me, let me <laughs> take another look at that, because that's a pretty big drop. I'm not sure that I want to go down there. Let me see over here. It looks a little shallower. I'm going to try it. See, I can, looks like I can climb up a little bit at a time if need be. Just got to find some copper. I only need one piece, but I'll I'll take as much as I can get. Right there. Is that copper? Yes. There we go. That'll do it. But since I'm here, I'm going to take it all. take the whole node's worth. <clears throat> that looked like... No, we still got more. I was going to say that looked like all of it, but I didn't realize that was floating up in the air. Okay. Got everything. That... I believe that's it. Alright, now let's get back up there. Let's get some momentum and jump. Oh yeah, easily. Easily. Didn't even use half the, the jump jets. Alright, let's recharge. Get some momentum and jump again. Go, 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 go. Go, Gadget, go. Oh, they recharge really, really fast. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, let's just try to go straight up to the top. Uh, going to hit the wall. Going to run out of juice. Trying to get over the lid. Hit. Pull me in. There you go. Woo! Almost ran out of juice on that one. Alright, so we've got the copper we needed. <sighs> Plenty of copper. Now, let's see if we can make the computer chip. Yes. Okay. Oh, one lead. Lead is black. There, there. Oh, looks like I only had one lead. Oh, I'm trying to repair. That's it. Oh, what did I, what do I not have? Titanium, maybe? Yeah, I need one titanium. What else? Did I not get the diamond? One diamond. There we go. Save myself a trip. Bingo. Power cells. Take.
All right, let's look at Mark 3. Okay, Kaina, I need... Oh, well. I need Plasteel Ingot, which starts off with 10 Titanium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, that's a regular... Titanium ingot. And two lithium. I do had plenty of lithium, I do believe. There we go. There's the plasto ingot. And now I just need the cyclops upgrade from the cyclops. This might work. Might be able to do it all right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. All systems online. Excrement. Okay. Let's put that back in. And that back. Where is the third one? What did I do with that other power cell? That Boy, module mark. Maximum depth reached. I'll damage you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, it's repairing itself. Okay. That I've got to be it's five hundred meters once I take that out. Oh, do I need another one? I need to be on the surface to do that. That was a two, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a two. Oh my great goodness. Guess what? I have to be at 500 meters depth. I'm at 900. Let me look. See if I can just build another Mark II. But I bet I would need the Mark One to build the Mark Two, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, to build the Mark Two, I need the Mark One. Yeah, so you got to be on the surface to do it. Five hundred feet. What about this? What can we build here? All right, I, there's no ifs, ands, and buts. Well, you know, now that I think about it, I cannot take the one out of the this either without it crushing. Because it'll be 500 also, won't it? That's not what I wanted to do. Upgrade. I think it's this little panel here. Yeah, if I take that out, it's going to... Prawn suit. Mark 1. Alright, so I'm going to have to dock that back in the... Back in the Cyclops and go back up to the surface to do this. Because if I take the if I take the Mark II out of the Cyclops, that's going to make mean I can only be at 500 feet to make the Mark III. But this is a Mark I. This is not a Mark II. And I think I don't remember the. I wonder if I can do that real quick. Oh boy. I need to see what the Mark I upgrade. 900 meters. Okay. All right, I'm on, all right, so that's, I can just go stand on something over here and be at above 900 meters. Did that damage add any? Ninety-nine, just one percent. We'll repair it. All right, so that means. <clears throat> That I'm going to have to go at least to 500 feet for, to swap out the Cyclops. And I believe I can stay in the... I think I can stay... Well, I don't know. Anyway, I've got to go back probably to the beginning. But then... How am I going to get back here? Because I've got to have the one in the... Alright, what I'm going to have to do then... I think i got to go back and get the... 
Oh no, the sea moth is only 800, isn't it? I think. Alright, I'm just gonna... I gotta go to the surface. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna go back to the main... It doesn't tell you the depth. I don't remember the depth the sea moth can go to, but I've got to go back to the surface to do this. And do I got the kyanite on me? Yes, I do. Okay, well, and I've got... I still don't know where that other power cell is at. There's a dead power cell somewhere. Right there. Alright, so what's going to happen in the next episode, as soon as that power cell is full, I'm going to have to go all the way outside the cave, go back to the main base. Because I want to check a couple of things. One, I want to see how deep I can go in the sea moth, and I may bring it back with me. Because I think I can leave... I can leave the prawn here. And uh, I think I can just move in this cavern a little bit. Move down the way a little bit and get up to 800 feet or higher. Or 800 feet or less, really, in depth. But the Cyclops has got to go up to 500. And then I have to take it out. Yeah, okay. So that'll be in the next episode. I'll figure out what I'm going to do then. First, I'm going to <laughs> replenish my food and water. Just so I don't come back in and just be sitting on the verge of starving or dying. Make sure this is all replanted. Also, if you happen to, to be someone who watches this video and the subsistence videos, I left a comment on the last subsistence video I put up if you have any suggestions uh, uh, or ideas about what I should do. Because I'm, I'm at a loss every time I spawn I spawn further away from my body and my camp I have no food I have no resources I have no water so I don't know what to do I think for all intents and purposes as far as I think that that's game over but if you have suggestions please leave a comment and let me know on subsistence as well as any suggestions or things here obviously this is going a little better uh, and as always please don't tell me things I don't already know as far as uh, plot and, th you know, locations, things of that. Ciao.